Good day to you. I am Dr. Sam Adebayo. Quickly, I want to share with you. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Life is in faces, men and sizes. The wisest king that ever lived by name King Solomon says in one of his book, Proverbs 25 and verse 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, and it is the honor of the king to search out a matter. I'd like you to know that there are certain parts of your life that has not been revealed to you now. When Joseph dreamt in Genesis 37, verse 5 to 11, two sets of day, when he saw 11 stars, the moon and the sun bowing to him, he never foresee that he is going to go through the pits. He never foresee that he's going to go to Potiphar and that the wife of Potiphar will lie against him. He never foresee that he will be sentenced to prison. But guess what? Those are part and parcel of your life journey. So your dream and vision of tomorrow may not look like where you are now. So don't give up. Continue to press on, like Apostle Paul said, not that I have attained, but this one thing, forgetting those things which are behind, straining for those things which are in the front, for which Christ has laid hold of me. You must remember that life is in faces, men and sizes. You know, your face may be weeping now, but I tell you, but the weeping is not meant to endure forever. It will soon come to an end. That's why Bible says that a weeping may endure to a night. Joy comes in the morning. It may be the night of your life. It may be the morning of your season. So therefore, don't give up. Don't give up. It's very, very important. That is the story of Chinese bamboo tree. When you plant a Chinese bamboo tree, unlike all other seed that when you plant it like a maize you know in 90 days we have this maize you can start eating it all that things like that but when you plant a chinese bamboo tree in the first year nothing will show up does it mean that nothing is growing on the ground something is growing does it mean that chinese bamboo tree is done no the second year, you won't see any traces of any, anything shooting forth. Third year, you won't see anything. Does it mean that Chinese bamboo tree is dead? No. You have to grow downward before you grow upward. <laughs> if you grow upward before you grow downward, the wind of life will blow you off your feet. That's why you see many young boys, many quick list schemes, those that win little, betting, you see that two, three years down the line, they come back to the level they had before because they don't have character as their foundation to sustain them. So in the fourth year, not in show fault, on the show fault. But one thing is certain that Chinese bamboo tree is growing its root system stretching his truth under the ground so that he will build a strong foundation that will be able to sustain it when it grow up, that will be able to sustain it from the wind and storm. In the fifth year, Chinese bamboo tree will shoot forth. And in six weeks, Chinese bamboo tree will be 18 feet tall. 18 feet tall. So you, you can't grow up until you go down, Balas Kapalia, the, the road to the top starts from the ground. But I see many of young people of nowadays, you are just a graduate, you are still a rookie. Instead of you to be learning, you know, you want to start like a dang bottle. You want to start like Femi or Tedona. You want to start like Ibukua Moshika. Now I submit to you that the way you grow up, so you will crash London. So don't give up on yourself. Keep growing down. Bible says in Philippians chapter number 2, verse 5, it says, let this mind be in you as it is in 
cried Jesus, who be equal with God, but does not lay hold of the equality, but put on the image of the servant, and being fashioned in the image of the servant, he only himself, even to the death of the cross. Don't forget that the death of the cross is the gruesome death. It's a death given uh, to, to Adam criminal. That's why the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, it says, uh, uh, Christ has redeemed us from the cost of the law. Be made the cost for us. That, for it is written, that cost is anyone that is hanged on the tree. So Jesus, who is a, a sinless man, choose to become a cross, that we may become the blessing of God. So God, that is how he come down. He abase himself. He take away all his, all his pride, all his esteem. He, he undo himself. He go down and submit himself to the death of the cross. And therefore, after humbling himself, after going down, after emptying himself of, of what is called self, and therefore God highly exalted him and gave him a name that is above all names, that in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God to the glory of God the Father. See, until you go down, you can't go up. Until you humble yourself, God can promote you. Bible says, He resist the proud, but He honor the humble. In the name of Jesus, God will lift you up. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, take note. Chinese Bible 2 is a perfect example. We must learn to go down. If God will announce you to the world, you must not be ashamed to go down. You must not be ashamed at times to be alone. Jesus was left alone. So if you are the type of seeking for public accolade, public applause, you will get it. But you will go further in life. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are rising higher in the name of Jesus. That challenges will not crush you. That uh, difficulties you are going to is preparing you for greater height. And I pray for you. You will get there. I will see you on the top. I will be born to rejoice together. Your dream will not die. Your vision will not die. In the name of Jesus, those who went to the pit, Potiphar, prison, and landed in the palace. You will land in your palace. God bless you. Shalom.